Uh, now, there was a study done back in 2013, I believe, uh, that has been pulled off the CSIRO website, but uh, it was on the ABC, it's still on the ABC website, and it said that on average about 2.2 billion tonnes of carbon is taken up by plants each year within Australia. Now, I would have thought if that was the case, that we would be well and surely at net zero now. That sort of uptake. So, Senator, I'm not sure what particular report that you're referring to, but obviously... I'm happy to... I'll, I'll put it to you on notice as well, so you know. Yeah. Uh, but it was the lead author was Dr Vanessa uh, H-A-V-E-R-D, Havard, um, of the CSIRO Marine and Atmospheric Research. Yep, she was the... Um, yeah. and, and it was a, a carbon audit back in 2013. So, and I think um, with, with all... Uh, uh, I guess carbon sequestration with through land use and, and changes in land use. That's an ongoing area of, of um, close um, sort of observation to try and understand what's the certifiable sort of reductions you can have there. Right. So we have more up to date work than 2013. Is that a and ballpark figure? I, I, I'd have to see the context in which that that statement was made. I don't. Right. Okay. Well, yeah. I'll put it to you on notice. But depends we on, depends the, on where you draw your envelope. Sure. But the current measurement for um, humans, the Australian people, is that, is that about 500 million tonnes, or are we just below that now? So, so currently emissions. we're putting at about 485, I think 485. It so even if that was out by a factor of 75 per cent, we'd still be at net zero? So, so if it helps, the um, <clears throat> Department of Energy's data shows that we're down 25 per cent across the board for emissions since 2007. Since 2007. So Coalition was in government most of that time, so we've really reduced emissions. Wow. And that's on the Fantastic. Um, department's website. We are really good for the environment, aren't we? Authorised G. Rennick, LMP Chermside.